let's see where we are. All right, let's keep going. We're, we're a couple ahead of this one. They're, they're doing good, aren't they? Trying to keep up with me. That's a miracle. All right, for her hair is given her for a covering. Dadatai aute, that is, it is given to her. It is given to her. It's given to her. Her hair veil, that is her long uncut hair, is given to her from God. I, I'm giving you the right. I've not given that to a man. I've told a man, no. But I've told the woman, I'm giving you this veil. And I want you to leave it as your glory. And so I am giving you the right. Men and women have the ability that is in the Greek called a subjunctive of potential. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Everyone say glory to God. Everybody, men and women, both have the potential of long hair. My hair will grow long. That's called the potential. But it's not long, is it? Why? Because I have done something to alter it. That's what God told me to do. I'm to take it and realize, wait a minute, I am to keep myself uncovered before God. That's what he's told me to do. I do not have the right, I have not been given the right of a woman. She only has that right. I have the right and I have the calling to remain uncovered before God, to be a father, to be what God called me to be. That's what I'm called to do. Am I going to get mad about it? No, I'm, I'm not going to get mad about it. I'm not going to say, well, I want to be like the I can't believe it's not butter guy. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say, all right, I want to please God. Because God has given a woman the right to grow long hair, and it's only given to her to do it, I'm not going to be jealous of that. I'm going to let God uh, work it out. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, so we're, we're almost there. And this is the critical one, and this is where we're going to... We're, then we got one verse. We'll just kind of walk our way out of it. So her hair is given to her for... I would say for. That is anti, that is for... It's translated for here, but look, look at how it should be translated. This is a genitive, anti parabolan. This is, the, this is the word veil in the Greek. See that? So here we have the word anti parabolan. Here the word parabolan is veil, and it is the only time the word has appeared in the whole time that we've been reading it. It's talked about a covering, but it has never used the word veil. Now it's actually called it a veil. And it said that what I have done is I've given her, so you don't have to go get a piece of cloth. And I'm not making fun of my friends that think so. How many are listening to me? I have friends that think that women should put a cloth on their head. I'm not, does everyone know I'm not making fun of them? Okay, I'm not making fun of them. I respect them. I do disagree with them. If they think there are two coverings, there are not two coverings. There's one. Not this one. This doesn't bring glory to her head. Doesn't bring disgrace to my head. I can lay this aside. I can use it if I choose. If I want to cover my head, and, and, and Jewish men did, and I find nothing offensive about that. Now, personally, I feel a little funny when I put that on my head because I've never done that. But if a Jewish man walked into a synagogue and they pulled the this, this Torah out, and they begin to read. No man would walk into a synagogue and read from the Torah and not put something on their head that just... I have no trouble with that. But I am not Jewish. I studied with rabbis. I studied Hebrew with rabbis. And I respect them. But I am not Jewish. I am a Christian. Nobody said I must put something on my head. Paul is talking about not putting something on my head. He wasn't talking about that. He was talking about putting a long veil of hair on my To let my hair grow as though I'm a woman, that would be, even nature would tell me that. That's a shame to do it. Someone said, I don't think it's a shame. I didn't ask you. We weren't asking. We weren't at taking a poll and going to Singapore and saying, how many people in Singapore think porpoises have long noses? We weren't taking a poll. We were, Paul said, nature teaches something. That's what he said. You can agree with it. I can disagree, whatever. 
You say, well, if you listen, there's you need to try to agree with God. I mean, I would at least try to agree with God. But the point is not w- taking a poll and figuring out what culture thinks about it. The point is God has an order, men and women. And the glory of the woman is on her head. <laughs> and so he has given her for her hair is given to her for a covering now i want you to understand it i want you to take a pencil and i want you to circle one word you say brother french how can we live through this You're going to live. You're going to actually be breathing when it's all over. We're almost done. Now, here we go. Now, let's look at this. This word, anti. How many have heard of the antichrist? That's the Greek. Anti is the Greek word for either. It can either mean against. See, I can say, for example, um, are you for me or are you against me? That's anti. He's anti uh, can't think of it. Anti something. You're against it. You're, you're not for it. You're against it. Or you can use the word in Greek anti to mean, um, you know what? Instead of this, you know, instead of a glass, we're going to get something in its place. So, Instead of a glass, I think we'll use this. That's anti. Not that. I don't, I don't need this. Instead of a, of a veil, instead of some other kind of veil, I'm giving the woman her hair as her veil. And that is her glory. Now, let's look at verse 16. But if any man seems to be contentious, we have no such custom, neither the churches of God. Now, some people have thought that perhaps this means that if you don't like it, well, don't worry about it. Do whatever you want to do. That. Nothing in this verse that says that. If anybody has a spirit that has a hard time accepting God's order, the church never takes responsibility for someone's spirit. We we have to say, all right, if my heart is trying to get where God wants it to be, then... Here's the, here's the answer. If my spirit, and, and sometimes, have you ever just had, you're wrestling with God? I'll tell you when I really wrestled with God. All right, we're all done. We're just ready to, we're ready to say amen. The doctor walked in and said, you know, your little boy is going to, your little boy's dying. I was very, very troubled. And I was like wrestling with God. Oh God, what are you, how can you, I was very, very troubled by that. So I had to check my spirit and say, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I was trying to start a church in Chicago, and, and I went to my church, and I got on the floor, and I just, my wife was up there with my little baby, and I just rolled in the floor. 